Hello friends, in this video I am going to discuss about the binary tree traversal mechanisms. How do we traverse through a binary tree? Uh, so binary tree can be traversed in uh, three methods that is in three ways. There is a pre-order traversal, an in-order traversal and a post-order traversal. So we are going to perform a sort of recursive uh, procedure, recursive operation to perform the traversals. So uh, I will just show you by means of an example binary tree and do the traversals one by one and explain to you how I have done those traversals in a recursive uh, fashion. So it's a very interesting topic to be uh, for, for the people for any person who are studying data structures that is the binary tree traversal technique. So this binary tree traversal technique is now uh, will now be explained uh, on the board. Now uh, let me just draw a binary tree of my choice suppose the tree is like this. Suppose I am writing the tree over here, suppose there are nodes like this. So suppose the binary tree looks like this. We have elements like this, the data values are A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. So this is a binary tree. So binary tree as you know that it contains a maximum of 2 children at any node of the tree. So suppose this is the root node of the binary tree at the zero level there is a root, root node the, in the number one level there are two nodes suppose this tree is uh, full with its full capacity of holding children that is B and C are its left and right uh, left and right child respectively and uh, B has two children C has only one children that is the left children F and F has the right children only I. In this way we have drawn the binary tree in this case in this example. So in this binary tree we are going to perform the traversals one by one in order to show you the different traversal mechanisms. So uh, but first one thing is to be borne in mind by you friends that is uh, for the traversal technique there is an important uh, uh, sort of uh, formula or I, I, will, I will just uh, say it as formula because it is not at all a formula it is something which is uh, which is going to help you to memorize or to just get the concept of the traversal. So you can cons consider it to, be, it to be a formula in, in your mind and just uh, keep in your mind uh, learn it the, the way I am going to describe you uh, how to traverse a binary tree it is a trick rather it is not a formula it is rather a trick but you can just put it in your mind or keep it in your mind uh, just as you keep all the formula in your mind. So suppose for in order traversal, for in order traversal, the logic is that we will traverse in a way that will put the root in the middle of the left subtree and the right subtree. So we will write left root right to signify that operation. So this why this in order in this in order the root is in between this left and right. So that is why we call, call it in order. In the case of pre order traversal see this the interesting thing is that if you just remember one thing you remember the other two as well. See this it, if you consider this left and right they are not at all changed in their respective in their relative positions. Left and right will be like this the root will be shifted either to this end for pre-order and to this end in case of post-order. So if we are writing pre-order then obviously left and right will not change their respective or relative positions. Left and right will not change their relative positions but root will change its position to the left of left. So it the root comes over here root left right. So root comes over here left and right are unchanged in their relative positions. Post order is just like that. Post order traversal means root will go to this, this side. So left and right remains unchanged in their relative position in their relative positions and left right after that we will write root. So root is coming to this right end. So these are the three basic tricks to just uh, get in your mind how this entire uh, how these entire operations which are called uh, binary tree traversal uh, traversal operations are done. So uh, first let me just start with the in order traversal 
and uh, with the help of this binary tree. So let me just write the in order traversal how we will do it. In order traversal. What is in order traversal? We will do the traversal in a recursive way. A recursive way. That is, we will start our traversal from here. This is the root node. This is obviously the root node of the binary tree. And we will start from here and utter this uh, trick, utter this formula rather, or uh, you can say it is a mantra or a, a sort of mantra that is left root right and said and uh, we will just uh, utter this mantra like left root right we are saying that left root right what is being said before left at the beginning we say left then we will go to left so we come over here we see we again utter the same mantra that is left root right over here then we are going to further left then we are going to utter the same mantra once again left root right so we come to the left See this left has got a null pointer. There is no node on the left subtree of D of D. Uh, there is no node on the left subtree of D. So we are going to come to what? After left, we are saying left root right. Then we come to the root. So what is the root in this position when we don't have any left to the left uh, subtree? The root is nothing but D. So the root will get printed in this way d after that we will go to the right subtree because left root then right after printing the root our duty is to go to the right portion by this uh, by this trick so we go to the right and in in the right portion this is the now this is new this is the new root now now they, then again we will utter the same mantra left root right then there is no left, we come back to the root, print the root, D, G, go to the right, there is no right, backtrack, come to G, G has been printed, we backtrack, D has been printed, see this entire left subtree of B has been printed. So then our duty is to uh, print the B which is the root of this left subtree and this right subtree. So B will be printed then, after that we go to the right part because left root right, that is the trick. So, we come over here E and then this is the new root, we say left root right once again. So, come to the left H, then left root right once again, there is no left. We come to this H, print H, come to the right, nothing is there, backtrack, H has been printed, backtrack E is not printed because we have printed only the left subtree of uh, E. So, in that case, in this situation E is the root. So, E is to be printed after, after that and after this we see that we have printed the left root and right subtree and everything related to B. So, in this case we see that we have covered the entire left subtree of the root node A. So, we come to this root node now and print A and after that we come to the right subtree of A. Again say that left, right, left root right, we come to the left, left root right, there is no left, come to F, print root, print root, then we come to the right, left root right, left is not there, root I, then right, no right is there, come back, I has been printed, come back, F has been printed, so left subtree of C root has been printed, we come to this C and print this C, uh, that is print the root and now go to the right portion, there is no uh, right subtree, we come to this portion uh, and backtrack to this portion A, A has already been printed. So in this way we see that the entire root, uh, entire binary tree has been traversed in an in order traversal uh, pattern. So this is the in order traversal sequence which we have found out from this tree. So in this way we are going to perform the pre order and post order traversal as well. So, we will perform the recursive operation uh, uh, like, like the uh, in order traversal which we have done in this case. So, I will just go on to write the pre order traversal. Pre order traversal is what? Root left right, root left right. So, we come over here A. A is the root, we will print A. 
will always see that we are nothing we are doing nothing but uh, we are printing the root in every example in every case in this case we are also printing the root in this case we are also going to print the root and in the post order case we are also going to print the root so in this case we come to root left right say root left right over here print the root a go to the left and see say root left right then again print b then go to left root left right there is a root d print d then we go to left there is no left root has been printed after root then left then right then right is to be printed so in this g this is the root then we print root left right then we print root g go to left there is nothing on the left there is nothing on the right backtrack 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 every, everything starting from uh, starting from b has been printed so this c we have printed b after that we have printed d and g so that we have covered the left uh, the root node that is b and the left subtree of the root node dg now we will go to the right subtree and go to this e so e becomes the root we print e go to the left h becomes root we print h go to the right there is uh, uh, we back we backtrack to e and go to the right there is no there is no uh, right uh, subtree for e so we backtrack we see that we have printed the entire left part and as well we have printed the root part as well by this uh, first print so we have printed a so this portion is complete that is the root and the left subtree is complete so we will come to the right subtree so right subtree starts from this c then again we will print what root left right so we will print c after that we will go to the left portion say root left right once again then we print f after that we go to the left portion see that nothing nothing is over there we come to the root and root has been printed then we come to the right so again say root left right we print the root i there is no left there is no right come back to i i has been printed come back to f f has been printed come back to c then c is also printed so root left so this root and left has been covered we come to this right portion of c there is no left uh, right subtree on this c so uh, again we return to c c has been printed return to this a a has already been printed so we have covered the entire tree in a pre order traversal manner so this is the pre order traversal sequence and now we are left with the post order traversal post order traversal post order traversal means what is that left right root so first left then right subtree then root so let's start from over there what is left right root we'll go to the left right root we'll go to this left part again say left right root go to this left part again say left right root there is no left we'll go to this right and say left right root there is no left there is no right we'll print the root g so g will be printed at the beginning so this is left right root so after this left subtree is not there right subtree has been covered for d and then after left right we go to this d and left right root means we print d so after d c we have covered the left subtree with respect to b as the root then we go to we skip the b and go to the right subtree of b the right subtree starts uh, right subtree of b starts from e then we utter the same mantra that is left right root we go to left then again say left right root there is no left there is no right we print the root h after that left there is no right root e will be printed e will be printed after that we are completed with we are done with this section that is left right is not there root so this left and right portion left and right subtree of b have been dealt with 
after that we will go on to print the root b after that we will come to c because we have to skip this root node for the left subtree which starts from b so we go to c after skipping this root node a so we come come over here say left right root so we go to the left again say left right root go to the left skip the root go to right left right root there is left there is no left there is no right we print the root i after that see with respect to f we have covered the left subtree right subtree and we are now left with printing the root f so we print the root f after that see what we have done we have covered the entire left subtree of c and after doing this after having been uh, done with this f and i section we go to the right subtree of c by skipping the c so there is we see that there is no right subtree for c so we go to print the root c after that we see that the entire left subtree and the right subtree with respect to root node uh, with respect to root node a has been dealt with and we are now left with printing the root node of the binary tree that is a now i will write like this i f c a so uh, in this position we end our post order traversal so we have covered the entire all the three operations all the three traversal mechanisms on a binary search uh, on a binary tree that is the in order then i have shown shown you the pre order traversal and after that in the last instance i have shown you the post order traversal so if you have any doubts or uh, queries relating to this entire topic which uh, topic of discussion you can well post your doubts and queries into the comment section below so that i can address them thanks for watching this video